Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Legends of Tomorrow, Season 4, Episode 12, called The Eggplant, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. So we start off in 2019 in DC where Sarah's at Ava's apartment and she's trying to apologize for everything and when she goes in there she sees that someone took her and that her apartment's like a wreck. So she tells the legends so they go to the apartment to look for her um, by magic and so Nora found out where she is and is at the Sun Motel. And then we cut to where Haywood is destroying evidence on Hank about the whole theme park thing. And then we cut to where someone called for Hank. And um, so they, so Ray and Nate are going to the location. Then we cut to where Nora and Constantine go to the apartment and Ava is alive. But Constantine said that she may not come back because she's in purgatory. So Sarah wants to go, to pur go there to get her. And so basically, her purgatory is a mega store. <laughs> so you like a Sam's Club. <laughs> and then we cut to where um, Mona has a ship name for Zarya and Nate. And then we cut to where Constantine calls a meeting and tells everyone about what's happening. And then Gary steps into the circle to take care of Ava. And then we cut to where um, Constantine and Nora uh, go to confront uh, the demon. I think it's name is Neuron. And then we cut to uh, Nate and Ray are at the site, and Nate gets really, really sad, like uber sad about everything. And then Nate orders um, Mickey T to tear everything down. And then, just, um, then we cut to where Zari texts him, uh, wants to text him, but then Mona and Mick are trying to live through her and try to tell her what to say in the text message. And then Charlie jumps in as well. <laughs> then, um, then Gary helps Ava and Sarah because um, Sarah was able to get through and get to Ava, and th so they go to um, for Gary for help. And then basically they have to assemble something. So then we cut to Charlie uh, slash Nora because Charlie was imitating Ava and then Nora took over for Charlie and then Constantine versus Neuron and they managed to knock him out. Then Nora and Constantine talk and they're going to work together. Then Sarah fails because she didn't follow directions so they redo it again after they kind of argue and it's correct. Then we get to where they're at the Metro Center where there's a 3, 15, and 50 year warranties and then each one they both age when they sit down on the mattress. And then we go to Nate and Ray talk and then Nate sees that uh, Neuron's been locked up and so he goes flying in there to talk to the demon and basically just have it out but the demon uh, Neuron guilts him. He's like, well if your dad wasn't trying to do the right thing at the last moment he probably would have still been alive so it's kind of your fault. <laughs> Then we cut to where Ava and Sarah are in this kitchen, and then it's just a, it's just a hot mess. Then we cut to where Zari talks to the peanut gallery about the text message, because now she has like a proper audience. And then we cut to where Nora and Constantine plan, and then um, we cut to where Ava and Sarah are fighting. And so um, Ava disappears, and so um, Sarah goes through this door, and it's like a warehouse full of Ava's. And then we cut to where Nora talks to Neuron, and they he mentions Tabitha, and they also mention this in the Purgatory as well. It's like we got about an hour for Tabitha shows up, and then we cut to where Sarah talks to Gary, and basically the store's closed in in five minutes, so they have five minutes to get out. <clears throat> and then we cut to where Nate and Ray talks more, and they toast to Hank, and calls Mickey T to uh, try to reinstate everything. And then we cut to Nora talks to Neuron and looks like, you know, he Neuron got to Nora and she literally throws Constantine out. But then we then we cut to Sarah found Ava and um so basically says like I want the true Ava as is. So she goes through this other door and finds Ava and they finally wake up. And then we found out that uh, then we cut back to Nora where Nora set up Neuron. And basically, we're basically almost sent him back to where he came from. 
But then Ray goofed up because he saw Nora was in trouble, but not really, and messed everything up. <laughs> and then Nora left, and then Nora got knocked out. Then Zari sends a text message and says, like, hey, do you just want to go on a date? She made it really simple compared to all the other crazy stuff that, that everyone else is telling her to send. Then we cut to where Nate stops Nikki T um, with his um, ability because he was going to take a wrecking ball to the dragon lair. Then we cut to where the phone is now trash, but he never backed anything up to the cloud. So, Zari didn't tell him about that. <laughs> then we cut to where Dez is um, back to himself and he's still mad at Constantine and he literally swords off. Then Ray feels guilty about what's happening. And then we find out that Ray is neuron because he's doing that stupid whistle that he does. So, yeah. So, but he's, I don't think it's fully him yet, but he's getting there. But anyway, I give this episode an A+. Plus. I really enjoyed this episode. I thought it was really good. Um, and I like the whole journey of Sarah and Ava and how they're working on being a couple and trying to find like long-term goals and how they would live in a house like with all the messiness and how they would deal with all that type of stuff so i thought that was really neat and that's what i'm doing for this video so and the whole tab of the thing i think it's gonna be interesting as well and see how neuron is going to affect ray and if i'm saying that wrong i'm super sorry in advance anyway Really good episode. I really enjoyed it. And that's wonderful for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you agree? Disagree? Tell me your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.